The moment I've been waiting for, and I know a lot of you guys have as well, the Evercade VS Retro Game Console. I did get an early review sample of this from the fine folks over at Evercade. I've been covering their products since before they had a product, as far as the Evercade goes. And, you know, I've been critical with certain things concerning the handheld, this guy right here. Uh, but overall, I've really enjoyed it, and this was something I was really hoping for, and they were dropping hints for a long time, so I was really excited when they finally announced it. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. Unbox this thing, test it out. What I want you guys to do, as I can't cover every single thing here, every game, every scenario, drop a comment down below what else you wanna see me test or do with this system in follow-up videos. Obviously, I have the 8-bit though arcade stick right here, so we will be testing that out on this device as you're supposed to be able to use third-party devices. Now, this guy right here, the premium pack, comes with two controllers and two, the first two of the arcade games, uh, arcade game cartridges. This, I believe, in the US is 129 bucks. Uh, there's a standard edition one that comes with the Technos cartridge and one controller, uh, the standard pack, and that's $100, and then additional controllers are 25 bucks each. Each game, if you buy them individually, are 20 bucks each. These are the other two arcade releases that are coming out, Atari and the Galco. And as you see, they started the numbering over. This is one and two on the box. We'll take a look at that in a second. And they changed it to purple to signify it's a whole new collection. These are arcade games. Now I know this kind of stuff isn't for everybody and that's fine. I mean, however you wanna play is cool by me. I really enjoy stuff like this. I mean, there's a reason why these like official emulation devices have been pretty popular. A lot of people love them. A lot of people like this kind of stuff. This is, you know, kind of scratches that itch for some people with the collectability and whatnot. Can go a little overboard buying every cartridge. They do have over 20 of them now, and they have more to uh, announce. But there's the box. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Just like a slip cover that goes on there. So let's get that off. There it is, ready to play together. So. Now, all your old cartridges that had multiplayer, you can jump in and use them on this. It is a new system, but it uses the old cartridges that they had put out, minus two. From what I understand, the Namco stuff does not work as of yet. I think they may be like renegotiating the contract, because I know Namco, uh, from people I've talked to before, that they're very strict on how they license their games, because obviously they, they want money and they'll be like, okay, handheld use only, uh, this device only. And if you're like, well, I wanna make this compatible with something else, they're like, no, we want more money type of thing. Just the way Namco is, apparently. I, these guys, Evercade, didn't tell me that, mind you. That's just something I'm assuming from previous conversations I've had with other people. We'll still plug them in just to see, but I asked Evercade a while ago, hey, if you guys get that going with these guys, will it just be an update to the system? And then these cartridges work, or are you guys gonna be like, hey, we have to resell new ones? The, the way it sounds is that it'll just be an update to the system. This can connect to the, uh, the internet for firmware updates and possibly some newer stuff in the future. But here we go, Evercade BS. There it is. When I first opened this, yes, I already opened it, man. Ain't gonna lie. I already opened it. I had to check it out. I was like, I thought this was gonna be half the size. Like, look at that thing. <laughs> the, little, the little lid and the way it hinges, like, it's nice, the way it opens and closes. Got some ventilation up there. This is the power button. Feels pretty good. We have four ports for controllers. And then your two uh, cartridge slots. You can put in two different cartridges, mix and match. Blaze Entertainment on the bottom. Then in the back, we have uh, HDMI out and DC in. I'm not sure what that button is. We'll find out in a moment, but there is that part of it. The main part the meat and the rest are the potatoes. So let's let's take a look. Next level, this is like a multi-leveled package here. We get our quick start guide. Let me see what it says that button is real quick. Because I, I haven't even bothered looking at it. Number three, reset button for use for console recovery, service only. Okay, we don't need to worry about that then. But you get a quick start guide, multiple languages, probably like 15 different languages or something, I don't know. But hey, we don't read the manual unless we really need to and we needed to find out what that button was, so there we go. Data East Arcade Collection, 10 games. Uh, you get Burger Time, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja, one of my favorites. Gate of Doom, Wizard Fire, Breakthrough, Tumble Pop, 
Darwin 4078, Sly Spy, Chain Reaction, and Lock and Chase. These are all arcade versions. Let's take a quick look at the book. Real quick look. Always uh, cool that they come with manuals. There's that. I, I don't want to focus completely on the packaging of the games right now, so I'm not going to go page by page, but a lot of cool stuff there. A lot of cool stuff. And then the next one is the Technos Arcade. Number one, we get Mysterious Stones, Blockout, Combat Tribes, Combat Tribes, uh, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3, Mania Challenge, Minky Monkey, and uh, Battle Lane Volume 5. Uh, okay. Interesting. So there's that. There's cartridge. There's the book. Kind of just skip through real quick. The Combat Tribes. Okay. Some interesting stuff here. A lot of... Uh, a lot of different games. I mean, gonna be very subjective on if you like every single one of these, but there you go. Next level is our controllers and I believe the power cable. That's what we get. I'm gonna take one of these controllers out for now and we're gonna get this thing plugged in. Okay, we got everything plugged in and ready to go, but before we start testing some stuff, here's the controller that it comes with. Uh, it feels decently comfortable. It has like kind of rounded edges to it. Uh, your shoulder buttons on top and then kind of like your middle finger can rest underneath them. It, it feels pretty comfortable. Uh, this is like a menu button to access uh, in-game. You can get to the menu by pressing that. But a pretty decent little controller. Now the main thing I wanted to see was using the 8-bit though arcade stick as I absolutely love this thing. Mine is slightly modded with just new buttons and then like a quick release top but besides that everything else is stock so it should just be the same if you have one or buy another one now i'm gonna uh, unplug this controller but to take a look we have those two cartridges in there the technos and data east arcade stuff and as you see scrolling through you can see all your games in the cartridge hit x to change to cart one or just cart two or show all and then sort by release players or just the title these are hot swappable, so like, before we test out the 8-bit though, unplug a cartridge, the Data East one, and now just the Technos one is in there. Now the one thing I, I really like with the Evercade is their support for like indie developers and whatnot. Uh, that is one of the biggest selling points I think for this system is getting stuff like this on physical cartridges. But let's just take one of these and just pop it in, the uh, Xenocrisis Tanglewood cart. One of my favorites. Let's see how that looks. That's just two games, but let's see. Hot swappable, right? There we go. It is right down there. Tanglewood and Xenocrisis. That's freaking sweet, dude. You can just hot swap everything. Okay, I'm going to test this out. Unplug the Evercade card, uh, controller. Set that aside. Take the dongle for the 8-bit, though. Plug it in. I don't know if this is going to immediately be recognized. Let me turn it on. 2.4 gigahertz. Oh, crap. Okay, the stick is working. I have it put to left stick. wonder if I put it the D-pad if it'll work. Yes, it'll work. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the settings menu. Press A. It's already like recognizing the A button correctly. Let me press B to go back. It's, it works. It's already like, it seems like it's already set up. All right, let's go to map controller in the system settings. Hold down a button for whatever controller you're using. And as you saw, it said the Xbox controller. I do have it on X input on this thing. So now you're just gonna follow this through and press the buttons as it corresponds on the screen. So up, down, left, right, A, B, X, Y. I'm just going to follow through the way they have it. Pretty, for the most part, anyway. Cool. That worked. A to save and apply. And our mapping has been saved. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so far so good. Let's take a look at the system options that we actually have. So in display, we have... Different aspect ratios, original ratio, pixel perfect, and full screen. Stretch that bitch out. We're not doing that. Uh, some scan lines, subtle and strong. We will take a look at those in a moment. Now we have different bezels. VS, Evercade Origin, Wireframe, whatever that says. Oh, the, uh, the Evercade artwork that's like in all the manuals and stuff. Logo Legends, 
and box art and then scan lines for the menu you could turn them off or on so you know what we can actually just uh take a look at the the scan lines i guess let's let's see in the uh, menu well that's what the scan lines look like in the menu i'm not a big fan of scan lines but it's nice to know you have uh that as an option let's turn that off now theme oh okay you have dark uh, are you sure you want to change themes yeah change it dark oh that's that's too dark for my liking we have light that's too light for my liking and then uh we have the vs classic which is the one that i think i'm just gonna leave it on i like that one that looks good what other options do we have so sound you can change the background music sound effects uh, network if you want to set up your network connection which i've already done and it worked fine but uh, I did do a factory reset. Accessibility, the high contrast mode if you need it. Check for updates, factory reset, and then our map controller there. Credits, and then that secret thing, which I don't know what this is, man. Like, there's supposed to be some codes or something. You can unlock some secrets. I guess only time will tell. So I've been playing a ton of this Evercade console since I received it, and in between capturing footage and recording of this video, and I'm hooked, I, I'm really digging this. I like the idea behind it. A reasonably priced game system that plays mostly retro games with you know, some newer stuff that's retro inspired, a lot of indie stuff being thrown on this console and handheld. It's mostly all interchangeable other than like I said, those uh, Namco carts that could change in the future. And so far out of the, the newer carts that I received, the ones that I've been really digging have been that Galco arcade collection. There's some really interesting games there. I've never played these before, but like World Rally is really good. Uh, Thunder Hoop is really good. They're th like pretty much that whole cartridge is just really good games. And then the, the Data East cartridge, I, I really dig that one as well with uh, the Dark Seal games and uh, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Been playing a little bit of everything, going back to some of the old cartridges that I've had. And it's really cool. I mean, not much to complain about here. I do love that we can now map the controllers, uh, map the included controls if you like. You know, use third party controllers. That's really awesome. So you could really get this thing set up and play it the way you want for the most part. If I were to suggest anything, I wish there was like per cartridge or per game controller configs that you could save because yeah, it's great that I can change the controls because there's still some games that I'll play and I'll be like, uh, I wish the A and B button was reversed. Yeah, I can change that and it reflects it. And it's not like, oh, some games can change that. No, you could change that for everything but it's a worldwide setting. I kind of wish it was individual, that would be cool, but hey, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. The option is there to use what you want for the most part. I still have to test a lot of other controllers, but to be able to change the configuration around is definitely pretty cool, and it works great for me. Now, as far as the games play, everything's been running smooth for me. I haven't really had any input lag that I could notice anyway. I mean, nothing's really too perceivable for me here. Everything's been very responsive. I actually really dig the controllers. I was using the 8-bit though, arcade stick, quite a bit earlier, but then I swapped back to the included controller. I hope uh, at some point they may make like a 2.4 gigahertz version of their controller. I, I would love that, maybe an arcade stick of their own as well. I'm sure they'll come up with other accessories, but if they put out a wireless controller, that'd be cool, because I really dig the D-pad. And just the overall feel, yeah, no butt cheeks on the controller, but that's fine. It feels good, everything's responding well. Most of the games, uh, I didn't really see any visual issues in, in my opinion. And I hope the footage that I shared with you today as far as the games, the user interface, and my opinions, you know, gives you a good idea what you'd be getting yourself into if you grabbed one of these systems. I mean. It's a huge thing with this to be buying every single cartridge they release. And I've bought a good number of them. Yes, I've had a handful sent to me for review, but most of them I have purchased myself. And I, I really like the idea of what they're doing here. And I hope it continues in the future. I hope they keep improving upon the devices, getting more licenses for different cartridges, working with indie developers, getting some exclusive content on their systems would be really cool definitely for the, the $100 to $130 to get into this system. 
I think is well worth it. I have one pre-ordered and I'm still gonna keep my pre-order to get another one. Most likely I'll give that away on the channel once I get it. But yeah, I, I like it so much, I'm gonna spend my money to get another one. Why the heck not? I'm happy they sent this to me. Really do appreciate those guys over at Evercade. Really cool device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And with that said, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.